Welcome to another InfraScale training video. Today we're going to go through how to mass deploy your InfraScale backups to your endpoints. We'll cover what an endpoint is and why you want to protect them, how do you create an MSI, and how do I use the MSI to deploy this to all the endpoints I have to be concerned with. We start in the InfraScale dashboard. So I'm logged in as a partner, and I'm going to go to Apps, going to go to create MSI. And as I do this, I'll explain what an endpoint is. So an endpoint is wherever users are creating data. So workstations, laptops, these could be mobile users or they could be on network users. The reason you would back these up is it's quite often that users are not saving things where they should. Uh, also, you can get faster backup times, which means smaller margins of data loss. Uh, with end users because they have smaller data sets. So you can have a schedule that runs every hour for an end user, whereas your central server may only run on a nightly basis. With that, we come into the Build MSI dashboard. So we have this MSI creation page. And first you define a policy to use. So you click the drop down and you have all these different policies. We can say, all, you know, all folders or we can view and edit these policies and create a new one and we have different options for that. Manage. And this basically reflects the options that you have in the scanner settings for the back wizard in the actual PC client. So we select a policy to use and then we give it a name. We'll call this MSI Training Video 2. Sure. Then we have some options. We can make it user visible, so the installation will be hidden if you leave it unchecked, or if you want them to see the activity that the backup's actually being installed, then you can check this box. So oftentimes we find that you leave this unchecked. And we have an option to create an account automatically, or if you're mass deploying just a single account that's already created, then you could do that. So if you have one account that you want to use on many machines, use this option. Otherwise, you check this box, and what's going to happen is you put in a username template and an email template. And the way this works is that when the user logs in to their computer after the install is made, our system will look for that login, and it'll create a new username based off of this template. So you can remove that and have just a username if you want, no problem. But common is like this. This way you, you basically are getting an email address. So you generate the MSI, and it's going to populate in your MSI list over here on the right. All right, so if I go down to the bottom, is my training video to MSI. And once you have this MSI, you can download it with this link here, and it gives you the version number two. So you can download this MSI, and now what do you do with it? Well, if you have a network, which many of you do, you can create a new group policy object using this MSI. So you define which users are going to have this uh, policy, and then just like with all policies, the next time the user logs back into their system, it'll install the MSI. As soon as that's installed, you'll be able to see it in your devices view because the login already happens. For users that aren't on your network, you can send them this download link directly and ask them to execute it. So you can copy the link, the link location and you can use it that way. So that way, you don't have to go through any type of complex integrations. You simply create an MSI, and now you can cover all of your endpoints simply and easily and immediately have remote access and control and monitoring for all the devices that you're managing. That's it for mass deployment. Thanks, and have a good one.